You're waking up with the Bill Myers Show. Now on FM 1067 and AM 1440. KMED. It's 36. It's been a story just uh, sweeping the nation now. Story of little six-year-old Hunter over at Grants Pass School District number 7. And there was a picture taken by his grandmother, which showed Hunter in lunchtime detention, kind of sitting behind a, a trifold cardboard, piece of cardboard, separated detention, you know, away from the other students. And uh, people getting kind of upset about this and trying to noodle through and find a solution for the situation. Uh, right now, uh, joining me here on the uh, program is Nicole Garloff. Good morning, Nicole. You're, uh, you're Hunter's mom. Right? Yes, I am. Okay. Tell us a little bit about you and uh, and, and Hunter's dad, too. You, you live in Grants Pass area? Yeah, we live in Grants Pass. Um, I stay at home with the kids, and he works at a local machine shop. Okay. All right. Uh, having problems with a family car, I guess, huh? Yeah, we've been having problems for a couple months now, and then we got um, another smaller car that a family member was nice enough to give us. And that one is having more problems than the other one. Oh, okay. It's just been unreliable and and real tough to get around. Okay, so it all started with being tardy, Hunter being tardy to school. So yeah. uh, how many times and how often would you be late? Could you give us an idea? Um. Well, their policy is every four, like after the third or fourth time, then they get the detention. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean... Obviously, this is the first detention he's had this semester. Okay. So the semester started at the beginning of January. All right. And we've had four since the first, I guess. So did you know this was coming? Some people mentioned earlier this morning. Yeah. That, uh, hey, listen, if, there, if my kid's going to be deten- in detention, I know it because the school district gets in touch with me. No, I, I knew it was coming, and that's why I went down there. and Because I wanted to see what it was really, what detention was like. Uh-huh. Um, for first graders. What was it? Wasn't. Okay, now, wh- what was it like? Uh, any response there for, uh, from Hunter? I mean, the picture looks forlorn, but there's always the possibility that the picture was just, you know, caught a particular moment. And... Yeah. Um, well, he's he's a really shy kid. Mm-hmm. And just being right there anyways, like, he looks really, really sad and watching the other kids. And I know he wasn't talking because he explained to me the rules of detention. So you can't talk when you're in detention. You just have to sit there behind it, eat your eat your lunch, and that's all there is to it, right? Yeah. Well, you have to read books or do work okay. after your lunch. All right. So um, the grandmother took the picture, from what I'm understanding. But if, if I took but, the picture, oh you oh you took the picture. Uh-huh. Oh. oh, so it must have been the grandmother, Hunter's grandmother, that that made the Facebook post. Then that's yeah, she shared it. I made the post on my personal page. Mm-hmm. Okay. I really wasn't expecting it to get to this level, so. Uh. Oh, okay. You never thought it was going to get to this then. All right. No. So, so I, maybe I'm just trying to figure out, are more people under upset on your behalf than perhaps even you, Hunter, and the father are? Um, well, we're like really, I mean, shocked and grateful that so many people seem to be supporting us. Mm-hmm. Um, from what we can tell, most, mostly everybody is on our side thinking that this isn't okay. So, um, what is it okay? Or I, I'm kind of wondering, though, what about your responsibility as parents, though, to get him to school in a timely fashion or find some way to do that? What would you say to that? Well, no, I completely understand that, and that is our responsibility as parents, and we should have some sort of um, reprimand or talks. I mean, I was never once called in mm-hmm. at all about it. I talked to her on the phone, um, and that was who was who her? Who was her? Uh, the principal of Lincoln Elementary. Okay. I talked to her previously, and she had um, acted like we were going to come up with some solutions, and I could get a doctor's note for my health condition, and um, I just can't really afford to drive. What, what, health, what health condition is that, Nicole, if you don't mind me crying? Um, I have osteoporosis and fractures in my spine, Uh huh. and we found out about that when our youngest daughter was about two months old. But you're still able to care for the children, right? Uh, yeah, it's a it's definitely a challenge, and it's been up and down the last couple of years. Okay, all right. But I am, and I'm not going to not take him to school. I mean, that's important. How far just, away, how far away is Lincoln Elementary from your home, Nicole? It's it's close to our house. Okay, 
Is it close enough to walk, or is it pretty much a drivable, a driving distance sort of thing? Um, we could probably walk. It's just, like I've said before, it's hard for me to get up and going in the morning, mm-hmm. let alone, like, walking with my three-year-old and, and six-year-old. And is, uh, is Hunter too young? Does Hunter not walk the neighborhood right now? I, I don't know what uh, his no, level of competency yeah. is. There's no way I would let him walk alone. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, that's, it's a pretty busy street. Yeah, which street is that? Um, Savage. Okay, I'm trying to envision, you know, where this is, uh, where this is going on in my head. I don't know if I know that neighborhood particularly well. All right, right off seven. So, what's going to happen, or has the has the school said anything to you about the detention? Because it seems, if anything, if I was going to put anybody in detention, it'd be uh, it'd be you and the father. Who's the father, by the way? Let's just talk with him. <laughs> He's at work right now. Oh. Um, his, his name's Mark Camello. Okay, so we have to put you both in detention, but I guess there's no way to do that, huh? Well, I would rather get called in and have some sort of meeting. Yeah. I don't know. I'd rather pay a fine even. Hmm. Than so, have, and I don't mind him being in trouble if he's done something. I would agree. I would agree with you. And I think that tends to be the, the standard response most of the listeners had this morning. That it's one thing if Hunter did something, but it wasn't Hunter doing something. It's almost as if the principal was going to punish your child because he can't do, really do anything to you or about the situation. Fair enough. Well, she, I, I've been told um, by her that this uh, policy has worked really well and that most of the time once a parent's child starts to get detention, mm-hmm. The problem ceases because they don't want their kid to be in trouble for something that's their fault. Or I understand that. In other words, we beat up on the kid because we can, but <laughs> is that necessarily the the uh, the most appropriate response? What are your thoughts there? I don't think it's the most appropriate response either. And I've had um, issues with this since his first detention, mm. and that was just verbally hearing how it is. All right. Um, from her and Hunter. But I just I thought it was more like a library room box. It is kind of interesting that uh, when you sit there with, we called it the cone of shame this morning. Yeah, I <laughs> I think there's a, quite a few different games for it. Yeah. All right. So it looks like there's probably going to be some conversation between you and the principal of Lincoln Elementary. No doubt about that. Um. Yeah. There's there's a lot of talk about that, and I just went and dropped him off at school. What happened when you got to school? I heard there's something about a police presence. What's going on? Yes, there's police presence, and she quickly went inside when my car pulled up. Uh-huh. And as soon as I you know, walked him across the crosswalk and walked back to my car, he, the police officers turned around and go inside. Wow. It looked like the, I don't know if it was the superintendent. I, I'm not um, familiar with him. But there was another man out there with the police officers after the t- principal went inside. Did everybody look upset at you, or what was the general tone? Um, they did. I, I don't know. It was kind of just standoffish, like they didn't want to make any kind of eye contact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I didn't want this to happen in a way to make her scared. Like, Because a lot of people on Facebook had posted things that I wouldn't post and I necessarily don't agree with, like mean things. Yeah. I think, um, I think it's time for a uh, for a conversation about if this is the most appropriate way to punish a parental issue here. You've, you've already admitted that uh, there was a parental issue. We had someone else that talked about uh, Hunter's dad saying that it, that he didn't think it was all or in, in one of the in one of the news reports, words to the effect that that I don't have it in front of me. So I'm just paraphrasing what someone asked me in an email, Nicole, uh-huh. saying that um, the father made it sound as if he didn't think it was all that big of a deal being late to school. Did you comment on that? Oh, no. He thinks it's a big deal. Um, maybe that was misinterpreted. But he does think it's a big deal. He just, he doesn't think it should be, the punishment for tardiness should be this anyway. Okay. Um, whether it be the child's fault or the parents. All right. Like, well, I just think he's not getting in fights at school. He's never once been in trouble. So he's not a troublemaker, beating up kids, or pulling yeah. girls' pigtails, or whatever. No, right? nothing like that. Okay, and- shy, shy little boy. Okay, I, I see the problem here. Then, all right. Well, I will tell you what, uh, we can't fix all the world's problems, but um, at least the root of the problem of a uh, vehicle which is not all that reliable. Lisa Kelly, do you know her from Kelly's Automotive? 
Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Lisa yeah. Kelly of Kelly's Automotive, we talked with her this morning, and she agreed to help uh, provide up to $500 in car repair for your vehicle. What kind of vehicle is it, if you don't mind me asking, too? Well, we have a Dodge Durango and then a Plymouth. Uh, it would probably be the Durango because the other one's on its last leg. Okay. All right. But so, that's the one that originally caused all these issues to start. So we're going to see if we can get some repair work uh, done to that. I'm not going to get to a car, but let's see if we can get that. And I'll kick in 100 bucks uh, cash. We have some other listeners that are willing to uh, pony up some cash, too, and at least try oh, to wow. try to get that uh, get that repaired. And would that help at all at this point? I would. Yeah, that would help a lot. I'm I'm shocked that there's people willing to help us in that way. No, yeah. I think it. I mean, I know that would help. I've never had a problem getting them to school. It's strictly been what the car doesn't start, or the car just bulks, or what, what does it do? Or not? Um, do? Well, our Durango just kind of broke down one night, and we have been told it's a couple different things, like spark plugs. Mm-hmm. Um. And then somebody else said other things. And then the other car um, has just been different things since we got it. All right. I'll tell you what. If the vehicle gets uh, repaired then, you're going to get Hunter to school on time, right? Yes. Okay. That's a promise, right? I, of course that's a problem. <laughs> and him, not to you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be in trouble with me, young lady. <laughs> And I'm going to have to put you in detention somehow. I don't know how I'm going to reach you here from, from Medford. but am <laughs> detention. Hey, I'm just having fun with it. Hey, I appreciate you coming in uh, and sharing some stories about this. So Nicole Garloff of uh, Grants Pass, who's a child hunter, has been part of this school detention controversy, which developed over the last day or two. I'll tell you, we'll be in touch, and uh, maybe we can circle around with you and see how things are going here in a few days once we get things fixed up. Okay? Okay. Thank you for All having right. me on. Nicole, thank you for coming on. It's 848. FM 1067, AM 1440, KMED. This is the Bill Meyer Show. We'll be right back.